So we're on our way to Mount Magazine area. This is a little pit stop we always stop at and let Remington walk around just a little bit and they have some pit toilets and uh, this really pretty area right here. The leaves are getting thinner. A lot of them have fallen. It's a little bit of color. There's not as much color here I don't think as we're going to see up by Mount Magazine. So as you can see, this is part of Pond Creek National Wildlife Refuge. You can get a refuge permit here. Normally there's a barcode you can scan. I don't see one here. There are some permits in there though. And uh, if you look on Onyx Off Road, we actually have trails mapped through this uh, wildlife refuge that are pretty cool and it's you don't hear a whole lot of people talk about this area there are alligators in here I was coming down 71 right here the main road and I would say I just got over this bridge I, yeah I just got over this bridge just about a few yards and there's a big old alligator actually going across the road everybody had to stop and let it cross and it I bet it was eight foot long don't slip on this boy this is kind of slick beautiful area some cypress trees off in here is this man -made? I don't think so I don't know All right, well, we are going to get back on the road. We got a ways to go. I think it's about three hours from the house. Very pretty area. making a pit stop in our scenic riding and this gas station in particular here off of highway 71 is kind of in the middle of our Poto mountain route that we mapped this is a good place to meet up if you're going to run to Poto mountain and do that loop because you uh Poto mountain's kind of on this west side of this gas station and then when you get on the east side of 71 or this gas station, there's uh, more routes that we mapped that you can look at Onyx and you can see and, and kind of build your own loop if you have time to go through both sections of the Washita National Forest. But you could hit the extreme west end here and then you start heading across on the east side of this store and you could go all the way to the extreme east end of the Washita National Forest. But check out our trails we mapped on Onyx Off Road and make you a route to explore this area. We stopped at a rest area to stretch our legs. This is off Highway 71. And we get a little more color in the trees. So many pine trees. But we're going to continue on. Now we are traveling. East on Highway 23. Highway 23 is one of the scenic byways in Arkansas. Very beautiful route to travel. Now we're heading toward Mountain Magazine to the uh, scenic bypass or scenic tour that 
you can take that I found on Google and I transferred it over to my Onyx app but we're going to uh, follow that and see what it's about because we haven't been on it before and we'll probably explore some of Mount Magazine while we're there but this is on the way to the pen where we'll turn in the town of Magazine Still a lot of pine trees, which this area is known for, so there's still a lot of green. Some trees have lost quite a few leaves. The oak trees, they're all looking like they're browns and tans and golds. So there hasn't been a big mix of color, but it's still beautiful. Windy roads. I'm pretty sure I saw a mountain magazine just a little while ago. Yeah, Knobbers Ford, Jack Creek, all that's really close to this area right here. You would turn, I believe, right. Going over Petite Jean River right now. I don't know if I caught any of that or not. It's my screen's black on my GoPro. And, but anyway, I just thought I'd get a little bit of a shot as we're traveling to the town of Magazine and the route that we're going to follow. Beautiful out in here. destination is on the left this is the beginning of the route mount magazine scenic route we're still in the town of magazine
pick some more up in a little bit.
this is one of the pull-offs that we just come across as we're doing this Mount Magazine route.
made it to Mountain Magazine. Got the visitor center over there. Pavilion over here. Ash is taking Remy for a walk. And there's restrooms over on this side. So we'll be driving through here in just a second. A little more color as we come up to the top of the mountain. What y'all doing? So what y'all doing? Is this your stash over here? What was you pointing at over here? I'm not sure if it's one, but you know how they say that Indians mark trails with trees and they would make them grow pointing in a direction? Oh yeah, over there? Uh-huh. You never know very well could be. Alright, I guess we're going to jump back in the vehicle and explore some more of this area. All this is on that route that we're following. So we'll try to capture a little bit more of it and share it with y'all.
Water run off one of the lookouts on top of Mount Magazine.
place was called Ashley's Creek, I believe. It's a primitive camping area. Yeah, go around and you can see the, the camping area up there. And there's a we're down by the boat ramp. It could be, I don't know. My camera focused on it. I need to get a good zoom for my camera. Alright guys. Just a small spot we found on the side of this route we're following. I mean, this is toward the end of the route. We've done left Mount Magazine. Very beautiful. Yeah, I come around you because he's got you. Yeah, it's not. I'm going to take him to the, see if he'll drink some water over here. Come on. Come on. See what these signs say. Fishing rules. Boy, it'd be nice to throw a kayak off in here. Jimmy, come on. That tastes good. Okay, I'm done with this. I heard it, but I don't see it. 